Oh, hello everybody. Welcome to another really quick bear in the kitchen type episode. This is one of those, um, I'm willing to try almost anything but not everything works kind of videos. We've been doing a lot of experiments with different ways to make fire salts and I thought uh, I knew better than the interwebs, which isn't the case. But I tried my own method first because, you know, that's just the JT way, right? Well, I'm going to try what I think is going to work and when that fails, I'll do some research. So it failed and I'm doing some research. I got a couple other things I'm going to try here, but I thought I'd show you really quickly how not to make fire salts made some really good salted peppers, but didn't really make some, some very epic fire salt at all. So, let's take a look at that. In this bowl here, you can see the uh, unmodified rock salt I was using as a base. Nice and white. This is a beautiful salt. We get it at a fairly reasonable price. It always pays to look around. And over here, you can see what was supposed to be my fire salt. A cup of salt and five diced up Kung Pao hybrid peppers later. This sat in a jar for a while to try and absorb some of the moisture that way. And then it's kind of been in a bowl ever since and I've just been sprinkling a little bit here and there on usually beef based dishes. I mean these peppers, these are definitely dried peppers. No question of that. Nicely preserved and everything but take a look at the color of this salt over the color of the other salt. You can see it took a little color but nowhere near as much as I'd like and uh, I gotta say, I think that counts as a fail for fire salt. However, like I said before, I do have a few different ideas I'm gonna try, and uh, I will get this thing figured out. One of the most common questions on my gardening channel is, JT, what do you do with all of those hot peppers? And uh, the answer really is I dehydrate the vast majority of them for use in the wintertime. So the fire salts seemed to me to be a good opportunity to uh, well, just kind of expand the ways that I can use them. And I've got a lot of friends who fancy themselves to be cooks, and uh, to be perfectly honest, they're, they're better cooks than I am, but I, I get a little more experimental in my kitchen. I have fun. They take cooking far too seriously. Lots of people take cooking far too seriously. Don't take cooking seriously if you're going to watch my stuff, because you're on the wrong channel for that. But I thought it would make a really nice gift if I could give them some, like, Scotch Bonnet fire salt or some Red Cayenne fire salt or a few different varieties, you know? Because I've seen on the shelves and it doesn't seem to be anything more than a mixed hot pepper fire salt. So, I will keep trying when I figure out what does work well enough that I am like, Yeah, man, this works! Awesome! There will be a video. Alright, until then... Keep experimenting in the kitchen. Keep having fun. And sooner or later, I will post again. I promise. Take care, everybody. Have a fantastic day.